everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new video so we're going to be doing a little bit of a sit down video for today now if you follow me on instagram you would have seen in the kind of like new year period i asked you guys lots of questions about what kind of content you'd like to see and i left a bit of a question box if there was any specific videos or any specific topics or anything like that that you wanted me to cover and i had loads of you guys say that you wanted me to chat about 2021 trends and i'm not gonna lie i was a bit torn about doing this video mainly because in this current climate i do kind of question how much we actually care about trends anymore um and whether they're still as relevant as they used to be or is kind of like forward and if people followed them as much but actually when i was kind of like looking into the trend predictions of 2021 and looking back on trends from 2020 i realized that actually i do think the trends kind of reflect the current climate um and i still do think they are quite prevalent in my wardrobe even if it is subconsciously like i would definitely say i'm the kind of person that prioritizes classic items over trend pieces and buying things that are going to last me a really long time but that being said there are still loads of pieces in my wardrobe that i would say are probably more trend driven that maybe kind of like reflect the current period a little bit more and even if it's just changing how you style an outfit so it doesn't mean that you have to like buy loads of new pieces because you've seen there's a particular item that everyone's about it could even be about like the silhouette of the kind of outfit and changing up how you would style a jumper depending on the silhouette that's kind of like on trend at the moment just to make your outfit a bit more current and a bit more kind of like this season um so i would definitely say that trends aren't all about just oh this particular item is on trend at the moment everyone go out and buy it it's more about kind of like reflecting the fashion of the time reflecting kind of like what's on the high street and what we're consuming as well because at the end of the day we're the consumers so if we're not buying this stuff the brands aren't going to be making it and you can definitely definitely see that we have really really influenced trends for 2021 so with that being said i'm going to jump into this video and chat about the trend predictions that i've got for 2021 now the first trend which i think none of us are going to be surprised at and really really showed its head in 2020 is loungewear sets now i really really like looking back on 2019 and 2020 and seeing the difference in the products that the brands are bringing out so so many brands that never went near loungewear would never have touched it with a barge pole before 2020 have suddenly brought out the cutest little sets knits jumpers joggers they are all jumping on the bandwagon because they know that is what we are looking at to shop for at the moment and i'm sure you guys will know i'm a big fan of loungewear sets i am someone who finds it really really important even if i am working from home i'm at home all the time i'm not going anywhere or seeing anyone it's important to me that i feel good in myself so if i'm wearing an old daggy top and some leggings i've got holes in i'm not going to be feeling 100 percent myself i'm not going to be able to work to my full potential or be at my happiest so even if it is about just myself and making myself feel better i find loungewear sets are so so great for that because it means that you are really comfortable you're really cozy you've got a stretchy waistband you've got like snuggly knit but you still look really put together and you still look like you've made an effort and that to me is such a big trend of 2020 and it's something that's going to continue into 2021 it is something that i think a lot of us have really invested in in our wardrobe lots of loungewear sets lots of cozy knits lots of fancy joggers i absolutely love this trend and i do really think it's one of those trends that just wouldn't have come about if it wasn't for the current climate and everything that's been happening i personally didn't really reach for loungewear sets very much before 2020 i was someone who when i worked from home i'd be in maybe comfy outfits but i wouldn't really particularly go for loungewear sets but i would definitely say it's a big trend at this year and so many high street stores are going to be coming out with loads more cute sets so keep your eyes peeled what i will do as well actually is i'm going to link my favorite sets that i bought in 2020 down below in the description so if you did want to shop any you can there are some really really cute sets that i have been wearing throughout the year so i would definitely recommend checking out the description box 
Now the next trend that I'm predicting for 2021 is silhouettes. Now, as I said before, trends don't have to be like a particular item. They can be a vibe, they can be a particular look or a feel of an outfit. And I would definitely say that the more 1940s silhouette is coming back in force. Maybe 1940s, 1950s. I'd say cinched in waists, big puffy sleeves, puffy shoulders and big skirts are going to be huge this year. I definitely saw this trend emerging in 2020 you guys would have seen in summer i was wearing so many of these kinds of dresses and i absolutely loved it i really really felt like it reflected my style i've often struggled in summer with regards to like fashion fashion pieces finding what suits me and i really found my own in the silhouette trend and i really really enjoyed kind of experimenting with my style and seeing how it fitted into my wardrobe so i would definitely say that's going to be a trend that is really going to surge in spring and summer of this year lots of tiny waists lots of big skirts i'm really really excited to see it i think it's going to be a real nod to like the 1940s 1950s fashion and i think it's it's just going to be absolutely amazing i find it so so flattering very very feminine and it's a really fun trend to get on board with but as i said if you don't want to go out and buy any new items you can easily look at your own wardrobe and see what you can use just to really kind of like Give a little nod to the trend whether that's just because you have a skirt and instead of wearing a jumper over the top you want to tuck it into a tight fitting top or anything like that i think that's a really really great way just to give a little nod to that trend without having to go out and buy an entirely new wardrobe Trend number three is going to be a particular item and this is an item that I think is a bit of a controversial one. It's a love or hate and if you guys follow me you will know that for me this is a definite love and that is sweater vests. I absolutely love sweater vests. I feel like they started coming on trend about March of last year and I think people were a bit wary of them they didn't really know how to style them for some people it was quite a preppy look but then autumn of this year hit and so many different brands brought out so many different variations of the sweater vest that everyone went nuts for it myself included i absolutely love a sweater vest i find them really really easy to style and a great way to add a little bit of an extra layer without it being too much it's going to be a great trend for when we kind of like go further into the winter months and maybe transitioning into spring and you don't want like a full on jumper but you still want something to keep you a little bit snugly warm i absolutely love them and i really love how many options there are out there you can go for more of a preppy look you can go for something a bit more whimsical i know a lot of the more kind of like upper leveled brands like isabel laurent is bringing out some really really gorgeous very like whimsical designs or you can go for something really high street something just like a basic one color block color vest and style it up with loads of different things i just love it i think it's such a great trend it's something that i have fully embraced in 2020 and definitely expect myself to carry on in 2021 but what i also really like is that they are a great way if you are wanting to just invest in one extra piece you can style it up with so many different things that have already been in your wardrobe i've been styling them up with shirts jumpers underneath roll necks dresses i can tuck it into skirts i can wear it loose with leggings there are so many different ways that you can style up the sweater vest it's a really really great trend to jump on board and one that i'm so so excited about for 2021 now another trend that i wanted to talk about that i am a little bit wary of and one that i'm unsure about but i wanted to include it in this video because i think it's quite important to talk about trends that i both love and ones that i'm a little bit unsure about and that is the netting trend now a few of you might say that i have kind of jumped on board in this with this trend and i guess i have in a way but in my own kind of take but then saying that, I guess that's kind of the beauty of trends. You don't have to, if you don't like the trend, you don't have to jump on board of it. Or if you do like the trend, you can take it in your own way. I've noticed a lot of netting is resurging. Very early noughties, very kind of like disco vibes, knitted vests, knitted dresses, even knitted boots, which for me is a little bit too much. However, the way that I have embraced this is with knitted tights. It's the only way that I could have kind of like incorporated this trend. And to be perfectly honest, I didn't even see it as like me following the trend. It was just because I love the Gucci tights and I'd wanted them for so, so long. I'm not someone who likes how plain black tights looks on me. I love how they look on other people and I think they can be such a great way to add a little bit of extra like layering to keep you really snugly warm but I just never liked how they looked. I always felt like they made my legs look really stumpy. I have quite short legs anyway and so 
I think the kind of like block black just made them look so much more stumpy than what they actually are. I saw the Gucci tights and I really, really wanted to give them a go. I tried some pattern tights in the past, some like spotted tights and things like that. And I really, really liked how they looked on me. So I wanted to make that investment in something that I knew would really, really last me and actually be a great addition into my wardrobe. And I definitely can say I've already got the cost per wear down. If you follow me on Instagram, you're probably so sick of seeing the Gucci tights already because I've worn them with so, so many different outfits. But I guess that to me is why I bought them. I wanted to be able to style them up in so many different ways and basically use them as a placement for just plain black tights so the fact that they are knitted tights I guess you could say in a way that I am following this trend in my own take which again is a great way about which again is just a great way that you can incorporate trends without it kind of like not reflecting your true style it's a great way about keeping your own style and it's something that if you like it wear it if you don't like it don't ever wear it don't think oh it's a trend so I have to wear that don't ever fall down at that rabbit hole but I would definitely say the Gucci tights are a worthy investment and if you are wanting them to be a nod to the knitted trend then it's a great way to kind of incorporate that trend into your wardrobe. I've seen so many different brands that are doing knitted tights at the moment so I'll link a few down below in the description box if you did want to check that out and have a look and see how you can maybe incorporate them into your wardrobe. Now another trend that I have noticed throughout 2020 and is I think going to be a really really big trend of 2021 is quilting. I have seen such a surgence in quilting, whether that's in bags, in coats, in jumpers. Quilting is such a big trend this year and I'm actually totally for it. I definitely think in 2021 we're seeing a real surgence in more practical trends and trends that I would say are more consumer-led than they are brand-led and I think the quilting trend is definitely a consumer-led trend because it's just so so practical. I guess with bags it's a bit more fashiony but with like coats and stuff it's a great way to look stylish but practical at the same time. I love me a quilted coat, they are so so snuggly. Long line quilted coats, oh it's like a blanket. I've got one that I call my duvet coat because it genuinely feels like I've got a duvet wrapped around me at all times and I am so for that. I am so for that. So I would definitely say it's a great trend to jump on board if you are more of like a practical person or you want to maybe make a few investments that are really gonna keep you nice and snugly warm, that are really just going to be a great investment for 2021. Let's be honest, all we can do at the moment is go for walks. So if you still want to look a little bit stylish but also be really, really cozy, really, really practical and really, really comfortable, it's such a great trend for that. And then the last trend that I wanted to talk about for 2021 is monochromatic or tonal looks. It is such a trend that has been surging this year. And again, a great trend to jump on board if you aren't wanting to make any new investments in your wardrobe. I love me a tonal look. I have such a neutral wardrobe. I wear loads of blacks, loads of beiges, loads of whites and creams and usually styled together it does look very very tonal so this is definitely a trend that I am going to jump on board full heartedly because it is just very very me. It's really reflective of my style and it makes me so so happy that it's a trend that's coming into fashion. So if you are looking to kind of like reflect this trend but in your own style whatever your color palette is look at how you can make the outfit a bit more tonal and a bit more monochromatic if you love wearing red see how you can style an all red outfit if you love pinks see how you can style pinks and whites together i think it would just look so so cute just styling the outfit so it looks a bit more pulled together a little bit more tonal and seam lined i think is a really really great trend for 2021 and a really easy one to jump on board Okay guys, so those are my trend predictions for 2021. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, enjoyed seeing what I'm looking into, what I'm maybe not so much enjoying and not wanting to jump on the bandwagon of. As I said, trends are such a difficult one to talk about because all I wanna say to you guys is if you want to wear it, wear it. If you don't want to wear it, don't wear it. I'm definitely someone who prioritises classic pieces. I'd rather invest in something that's going to last my wardrobe for years to come than make an impulse buy of something that's going to be out of season within a month. So I would definitely say take these trends with a pinch of salt, see how you can incorporate them into your wardrobe and I would just say have a bit of fun with it. I think that's the main thing with fashion is just have a little bit of fun with it, see how you can enjoy yourself with it, see how you can incorporate it and experiment with it and I think that's just 
the takeaway from this video is 2021 is going to be all about having fun with your style and being very very reflective of your own fashion choices so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you're new around here i would absolutely love it if you subscribe you can come and join us for more videos i'm uploading mondays thursdays and sundays throughout lockdown i normally upload twice a week but i've decided throughout lockdown i'm going to be uploading three times a week just to give you guys that little bit of respite throughout everything so i really hope you come and join me for more videos make sure the notification bell is on as well so you know when i've uploaded and i'll see you guys in my next video bye